We should be live now with everyone. All right. We got hot mics. Ready to rock and roll? Should be working. All right. So with that then, uh, first off, everybody watching live on Facebook, thank you for joining us. Those of you in the future watching the replay on YouTube, thank you for joining us. Uh, this is your PRL's 2022 Season 3 prize drawing and, and recap since uh, it's now becoming a thing of its own. So um, as you guys have seen from the past, myself, Charles, we've got Marco, Jerome, um, three directors of the PRL. But before we get into all the other things, we want to go ahead and first Who's introduce the uh, voice that everybody's been hearing and one of PRL's own drivers on our Thursday League, Mr. Joey Tebbins. Thanks for joining us, my, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Whatever. I've I've gotten some <laughs> nerves uh, in a previous broadcast. Charles turned into Charlie somehow. I get it all the time. It's fine. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh no. There's there's no conflict of interest. I try to the win o- every damn broadcast. So <laughs> the the only series you're not commentating, you're racing it. So there's no conflict of interest. You're eligible. Yeah. Uh, yes. And before we get going, I just want to thank you, Joey, for being with us tonight. Yeah. Thank you, all the other guys, Jerome, Charles. Everyone is online with us right now. And uh, thanks to Race, but uh, to all the whole crew, the the old members from the community. We had a good year. It was an, a fantastic season. Um, so yeah, let's get let's get this rolling. And uh, Jerome, we have some uh, great announcement to do. Yeah, sure. So uh, let's start by thanking all our sponsor. So uh, first off, Admin Sim Racing. So they've been with us for what maybe near uh, more than a year, near two years. So very big thanks for Admin Sim Racing for their great support, and they just provide the the best uh, the best cockpit uh, in the market. So and as a reminder, every PRL member got a five percent discounted Precision Five coupon code. So use it. That they they, they really provide the the best product. Yeah, you're right. And uh, I would like to thank uh, the guys from Race Lab who have been with us for um, many seasons so are already. Uh, they keep pushing updates. They keep creating those uh, crazy overlays and integration with other games as well. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, uh, follow them and subscribe. Yeah, and big thanks also for uh, to Bot Kicker. Uh, they've been with us with many seasons, like three or four years now. It's crazy. And they just provide good product. And if you want good immersion and realism to any of your game, just get a butt kicker. That's a, that's a really, really good product. Uh, and also thanks to Ninja Trader. Uh, they've been with us for a few years also. Uh, big thanks to Raymond Day for, for the support. That's very appreciated. Uh, and Ninja Trader provide a, a, an award-winning training software blockage. So just go on Ninja Trader dot com to get started uh, with the risk-free trading so the uh and yeah uh, and also i would like to introduce a new partner that will be joining us next season so maybe you saw that on on our social media um thanks to racebox uh they will be joining us and be drawing some prices at the end of every season now so uh, starting 2022 S4 end of season, we're going to be drawing uh, a checkered uh, flag box and two gift card of uh, two gift card of 80 bucks. So a big big thanks to Race Box. They provide very very good bottom box. So if you want to enhance your sim racing experience, that's the time. And again, that's the same coupon code coupon code than ASR Precision Five. Yeah. You have five percent discount with Race Box with the same coupon code. So that just remember Precision Five, and and you're in business. So uh, welcome Racebox, and uh, we're looking forward to 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 see you guys grow uh, with us. I just want to say something. I had, a, I had a message that we can't hear Joey on uh, on oh. the live stream on Facebook. So can you just check on the um, uh, web browser if you have your mic selected and if it's not muted make sure that uh, we can uh, hear you so sadly we have a, a little issue so nobody's gonna know he was pissed i ruined his last name perfect <laughs> <laughs> You're muted. You still you muted. Yeah, I can see you muted inside of the the app. Your mic's muted. Yeah. No, no, no. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Both. Sorry. Yeah. You were, but I think it's not picking your microphone. You can select like which microphone you're using. Yeah, like a little gear on at the bottom. So um, if not, I can try to just switch this. Sorry, guys, everyone is live with us. This is we're not a PRL broadcast without something funky happening in the first ten minutes <laughs> hey, every last, time. Last time it was fine. 
that's good that's good yeah sorry about that. all right um yeah charles anything you want to share yeah so i was about to say while joey's getting that all fixed up um as we've done with uh prior broadcasts as well uh before we get to the prize drawing uh we're gonna first take a step back look back at season three across all the leagues give some love to all our champions uh kind of some high points of each league as well and then we'll get to the fun stuff after that what is the fun stuff? Uh, me making faces because I don't win anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Or all the NASCAR guys winning stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also the season four, the sign up are still open. Uh, yes. Obviously, both of our NASCAR series are full within two days. So you guys are crazy. From the NASCAR crew is just crazy. It's <laughs> filling up a season after season. Uh, and we have places available in MX5, yeah. GT4, GT3 oh. picks, F3, F4. We got Joey so, back, and I can see and Mike. Now. I think uh, I can see your feedback now. It should be good. Mark awesome. Kalen, tell me if you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, Mark's always on the chat. I'm sure he's here. Cool. Mark Actually, it's so Kalen Jr. Going along yeah. with that, since Jerome talked about our new sponsor in the future, one thing that I will say for in the future as well, um, because both Oval Leagues were completely filled after the first day it went public. Um, so 2023 Season 1, be prepared for a third Oval League, guys. Uh, Wednesday night doubleheader will be in the works. That's some great news. There we go. Yeah. That. So God Joy, help me for organizing all that mess, but it's in the works. So, Joey, do you, you want to uh, redo your uh, intro speech to the guys? Or I mean, they, did, they didn't miss anything, but I'll just – basically, all I said, well, first of all, uh, Mr. Mr. Sumner pluralized my last name. So that's going to be that's gonna be a running joke. I'm calling him Charles Sumners in every series he races in for the rest of the year. Luckily, there's only three oh, months yeah. left in the year, so that's beside the point. <laughs> And you just mentioned we're going to get into the recaps of every season. I was lucky enough to be on the broadcast for three and kind of a half of them. And also I raced in a full season of one of them. And that only that only leaves the F4 series that I was kind of kind of out of. But <laughs> I got a lot of interesting stuff. You guys did a lot of interesting stuff. There were a lot of interesting dynamics. And I'm sure once we once we transition into that, there's a lot of data that's going to come out here and you better be ready for it. You are the data master. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Let, let me bring up that um, screenshot you guys saw during the, um, the starting soon uh, screenshot on the, when we started the stream. So, uh, hey, Charles, I'm going to start with the NASCAR as usual. Yeah. Yeah, let's wow. kick it off. Abner going right man. to Sunday night. So, yeah, so it's season champion Abner Acosta. Um, the big story was actually going into the final race. Abner and Trent Dinkle tied in points so it was a winner take all right um and uh as it's a custom across all prl leagues the last race is not a drop week so big big pressure coming in and of all places it was daytona and we all know what happens at plate tracks right and unfortunately um a lot of the drama ended pretty quickly in that race when uh trent got caught up in an early wreck thanks to some unfortunate net code um but overall, it was a great season for Trent. He won five of the ten races. Yeah. Um, it just so happened, though, he had two races um, where he finished outside the top ten, and one of them being the money race in round ten. So um, that kind of gift-wrapped it for Abner, uh, who was super consistent. Uh, he top ten to every race that he was in. He missed the opening round. That was his drop week. And then just went on a string of top tens. I believe it was eight top fives, picked up a pair of wins. So... Um, and honestly, too, what kind of kept Abner into it for that tie in that last race was bonus points. Abner rocking the poles, rocking the fast laps, leading the most laps. So, uh, you know, our point structure was talked about a lot for the guy who won half the races, you know, going tied into the final race. Uh, so that might be uh, something to keep an eye out for in the future. But yeah, it was an amazing season um, as, as well, too. Um, just going to give a quick shout out. So we did have two first time winners. Um, yeah. this season as well. So Clayton Ham and Joseph uh, Hoggard, congrats to those guys for picking congrats, up wins. Man. I believe Joseph at uh, Atlanta. Atlanta and then Clayton at Daytona. Two races that I ended up being in the booth for, subbing in. So maybe nice. maybe I'm the first-time winner uh, <laughs> guy yeah. or something. But 
those were two crazy races too at Atlanta. That was, if I remember correctly, that was one of the most insane finishes of the season. That was Trent and Abner fighting with each other. I think Trent had a damaged car. He led on the restart. They were trying to work together and the teammates broke apart at the last second. They wrecked each other and Hoggard came through to win by basically a bumper at the line. And then Clayton, Clayton Ham won at Daytona in the last week. Yeah. Also helped by the fact that a lot of his opponents were were wrecked out. But him and Mike Witt, they found their way through all the carnage. Clayton was able to hold off Mike. And for a guy, Clayton races in a ton of PRL series, Oval and Road. Pretty happy to see him finally get a win, especially after he was also about 20 feet in the air in that race. He jumped over yeah, one of the grass yeah, birds. That big. He, <laughs> yeah. he rocket leaked himself, and he got a win out of it. So, yeah, lots of lots of drama in the Cup Series, but... Yep. And also a, a weird calendar. I have to mention that too. It was a weird Cup Series calendar. Three road courses, two plate tracks, and then a couple of a couple of others. That's just how the NASCAR schedule shook out. And Abner, he's so good at every type of track, yeah, and it just, yeah. just shook out Abner. consistently. For and him. honestly, we were a Fourth of July weekend away from four road courses being on the calendar, with Watkins Glen being the finale. That's true. Like it was just really a jacked up calendar, and the change to Atlanta from its previous configuration that um you know i was kind of happy i was away on vacation for that one and then also unhappy to the <laughs> cluster i came back to that have to officiate so so yeah but uh we're we haven't got the uh season four scheduled release yet but it should be a little bit uh, you know less chaotic at least i hope <laughs> so uh um... we, we do have talladega on there that is a guarantee unfortunately <laughs> yeah. so let's move again to avner again on the truck side he won yes. the championship so he's, he's mastering all the NASCAR stuff at PRL, right? Yeah, so I, I, believe... I told Abner, Abner, go on the roadside. We want to see you on the roadside. So he started that PRL on the roadside with the GD. So now he's yeah. doing NASCAR. He's dominating it. Come on, let's get a shot on the road now. Uh, no, nah, he's too try hard. We uh, we were spent the entire time at Daytona <laughs> fussing him with him about that, and he just does not have enough practice hours to dominate oh, road like God. he would want. So, oh. um, but yeah, Abner pulling a Brad Holly <laughs> with the uh, the double championship on over. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah. um, and then on trucks, same thing. It was just a ton of consistency. Eight top tens, picked up three wins. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just yeah. It, it, it came down to him and Holly. He did have a bit of a cushion, which actually worked out for Abner because he picked up some damage early in the, the truck Daytona race. Um, but with that race also being kind of crazy as it was, he was able to coast it to victory. And it wasn't as close. It was 10 points, but there uh, in the winding laps, he was able to breathe a little easier on what was a pretty tough championship fight. Yeah, Brad needed to make up, I think, like eight more spots. And he was he was in the fight. He was in the fight for the win in those last couple laps. But the wreck just came a little bit too late. It kind of came after the line, so we didn't make anything up there. But it was Trent versus Abner in the Cup Series. It was Brad versus Abner in the Truck Series. And yep. they both they both flipped Abner's way, which we, we yep. dubbed him the tire wizard this season. But he is he's shaking off some some tough competition. And he's a he's a scary boy. He's scary to beat. So, so Brad did not win any NASCAR stuff, but no, he won the MX-5. <laughs> In absentia, I must say, he wasn't there for the last race of the season. He was at Daytona in real life. So it was yep. Kelly Greenhoe who kept up the consistency just barely enough to keep in second. And he was yeah. just racing against a point total. He needed the maximum amount of yeah, points. Exactly. Every bonus point you get in the PRL. Pole, fastest lap, lap led, most laps led, or whatever roadside bonus incident points yeah whatever and he <laughs> lost pole which kind of which kind of killed the hopes yeah. Yeah. instantly but still yeah. winning a winning a race in absentia sometimes sometimes in the u.s it's just interesting historical facts sometimes we'll have like political elections that are won by people that aren't alive and we've kind of had the same thing here in a championship <laughs> where a driver who wasn't there in the last yeah. race still ended up winning the championship but that just well, goes to show how good yeah, he was. Yeah. He was so consistent. Yeah. There was so much yeah. trouble throughout the season. There were drivers who were potentially faster than him at a lot of the tracks. I can say Ryan Kings, David Van Roy, Kelly in a lot of the races, even Mark Kalen, who's here with us. But they all ended up running into trouble, whether it was their fault, whether it was somebody else's fault. And Brad was always there to pick up the pieces. And yeah, he racked up those points. Well, he got seven wins and nine top fives. That's that's a crazy season for a guy that uh, missed the, the, the last race. So I guess his points was in the bank, right? Yeah. 
So let's move up to another guy, the GT4 champion, Sean, Sean Campbell. 10 wins, he won everything, uh, 10 top fives, and you can see there are seven poles. That guy was on a different level. Uh, we drove, uh, me, myself and Jerome, I, I only did a few races. Sadly, I couldn't add other stuff going on in my it's, life. It's but uh, we had we had the same car. And Jesus, man, that, I don't know where he found that pace. I know, I, I did that, a, 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 a bad pick, Marco. I know, don't blame me. <laughs> the what? <laughs> don't blame me. I did the bad pick by selecting the BMW. Oh, well, well I don't think it's the or... bad pick if the, the if the winner. Uh, I, was... I mean, he dominated with the same car. I mean... Yeah, but he's Sean Campbell, man. He's yeah, just I know, a I know. But, uh, I think we just need to pay him for his setup, I guess. So, <laughs> <laughs> Joey, what what what, you, what have you thought about this one? Well, me and DJ kind of said similar things every single week when Sean kept racking up the wins. First, when he tied the, the previous PRL record, which was eight wins in a season. Then he broke it. Then he won nine races in a season. And then we were like, you know, it sounds like he's just kind of dunking on the field here. But no, he's had to fight for all of these wins. Owen yeah. Watts, Adam Brockway, Justin Ream, Michael you name them. Yeah. Jerome Bertillon, Marco Oliveira. They were all oh, fighting geez. him for those wins. They were all I fighting wish. him for those wins. <laughs> but... He Maybe kept, he kept coming out on me, top. But... That sand, that sand down finish. Whenever I can get a clip of, oh, there, I believe I do have a clip of that somewhere. But watch that sand down finish of the GT4s. That was insane. Our own Michael Diaz had a had a had a role in that as well, and that was that was a really interesting finish. But then week after, Sean beats his oh, record. Yeah. He wins ten races in a season, so the record isn't eight anymore. It's not nine anymore. It's ten, and that record can't be beaten unless. For one reason or another, we expand to, to yeah, more than yeah. 10 races in a season. Yeah. That's true. But, that's true. But for now, yeah. that's unbeatable. 10 wins, 10 yeah. races, done. GT3 fixed champion, Jerome. Or a guy from ASR, Danik. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Da Danik Van Dale, very, very consistent. And he's going to jump into pro next season. He simply yeah. had the pace. He's really, really oh, yeah. fast. He had some challenge though from Alex he, Beck, Beckstrom and other yeah. uh, other folks. Bellini. Danik did, but like you said, he was consistent. I mean, he won half the races and finished in the top ten in all of them. Right? Exactly. Or and top five in all of them. Bad, me. Even after a bad qualifying, sometimes it was yeah. qualify like five, six, and after a few laps, it was just going through P two, P three, and his race craft is just very, very good, very consistent, and that's why. He's there, and I don't know how much win he got. He got five wins, still. five wins, and ten top five. So every yeah. single race, yep. yeah, he was on the top five. He's the George, George Russell of uh, Peril. Yeah, there you go. That's, <laughs> that's how you true. get the points. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we and that was, that was another thing we said. Like when you're when your bad races are fifth, like you're gonna you're gonna win the championship probably. Yeah, right. yeah you're yeah, gonna be yeah, in exactly. the fight for sure, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, let's move on to the GT3 Sprint Pro champion, Guillaume Levaque. Congrats, Guillaume. Yeah. Crazy season he's, again for him. Right? Yeah, he's just fast, he's... fast. He is fast. And, and I think he won every race except now the first he got one. Eight, eight wins, nine top fives, seven pole positions. And five fastest laps. Who, who got who got another win? Moises week got one. The first. Yeah, Moises won the first week, and then if you remember, Diego. Spa. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. true. Diego Diego, well, Rouse. first Dominic Olivier. He yeah. Had, he had, that was his best race of the season. He was winning, but he got a penalty in the pits. He yeah. took the lead, and then he ran into a lap car, got taken out, and then yeah, Diego took over the lead, and that's how Diego got his win this season. So there were three winners in that series this season, yeah. but Guillaume was it was unbeatable it's been a season in, in all these prl series it's kind of a oh. running theme of a couple of drivers who are just so strong and you know is easily one of the best of them hey shout out yeah, to yeah. diego he's on the chat with us oh, that good win. job diego <laughs> yes you did indeed get one diego and we also have nick mclaughlin on the chat with us and he's the, next, he's the, he's the next champion <laughs> he's the next champion that we have uh with seven wins nine top fives Three poles, two fastest lap for the GT3 Sprint Amateur <clears throat> Champion. That was yeah, him versus it... Ryan Patrick that whole team. They were the only AMs to win races. There were a couple guys who had speed. I remember uh, Marc Andre Desjardins. He got a couple From of poles. Sega? Clayton Clayton Ham got a couple poles, and there were a lot of guys who were fast. But 
again, that was a dramatic, a dramatic uh, field of drivers in the AM yeah. class. There's a lot of chaos and McLaughlin and Patrick, they always, they always came out on top. And before we leave this GT3 topic, I do want to go back to the fix series for a second and just go ahead mention yeah. We had a lot of we had a lot of first time winners in that in that series this season. Mm-hmm. Fred Galini came onto the scene in that Audi. He was unbelievably fast. Adam Brockway got his first win uh, early on in the season, and uh, there were a few others who were who were in starring roles. Michael Terrafino didn't win unfortunately, but he got his first pole. And then Bergstrom got another win. Of course, Danik got his first five wins in GTS, and then. There's one other winner that season. I got to remember who it was. It was Eric Luke. Eric Luke had kind of yeah. an on and off season, but he got a pretty fantastic win at, at Spa as well. So, yeah. a lot of winners in the Fix series, yeah. but of course, Danik evened it all out. One shout out too for the Fix series because I spent a lot of time in the back watching everybody in front of me and uh, really clean. I mean, we yeah. never had a big pile up. We didn't have like that huge, you know, lap one chaos. Little things here and there. But uh, hats off to the fix guys for uh, really great race starts that led to some really great racing. Yep. So Nick got six wins. So, he, he has a correction on the chat. Thank you, Nick. For but that. it was it was a it was a really uh, uh, tight fight with, uh, with 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 his teammate Ryan Patrick. So it was a uh, really nice to, to but follow they, uh, that ball. They, they deserve to be in the pro uh, side. Oh yeah. Get oh, ready, Nick. Yeah. Exactly, he's in the pro now. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the F4 uh, champion. Uh, that series wasn't broadcasted. Um, next season it will be. So if you guys, I think it's already filled, right? Uh, so uh, it's pretty. It, there's it's still a spot pretty, yeah. left, but it's pretty filled. So um, and it was a pretty, really. It was a. I was watching some some live stream of uh, of uh, Michael Larty, and it was a really really tight battle between Tavares and Michael and. It was Eden and Mikael finished one and two, and they were just consistent, always scoring top five, and and that's why they are there. And the, the battle was pretty tight till the end with Mikael Lorty, and, and, and Mikael Lorty had a few bad races, I think, at the end of the season, but he, he just got a baby. So he got a baby, and like two three days later, he was on, on track for for the season finale. So. Uh, congratulations first of all for Mikael for for the new yeah, baby. Congrats. That's amazing. And for the season as well, it's been an amazing battle uh, between between Mikael and Eden Davidas. Yeah. Davidas. So, uh, yeah, it was a really nice series. And that's why it's broadcast the next season. It, it, the attendance was there. There was a lot of people, a lot of attraction around that. So let's get it broadcast. And it's working. We we, uh, we have a, we still have a few places left. But, yeah, it's uh, that's going to be a very, very exciting championship, championship yep. next season. And I'm um, really looking forward to actually seeing the broadcast because I would I would look through the uh, the results the sheets results. just to put it in the in the stat sheet. I didn't actually get to watch the races, but like you see some of those results and be like, that was that was probably a pretty good race. I wish <laughs> yeah. I could have seen that. Yeah, yeah, that was really really good racing. Th- talking and about, I think Ethan signed up to come back, so he'll be a he'll be a top dog to guy try to watch. And yeah. Knock off there, and, and Ethan, th- if you're if you're around here, I need to know how to pronounce your last name. I'm sure I'll ask you. <laughs> Ta- Tavitas Tavitas. There will be a there will be a questionnaire coming out to some of the drivers if you've got a if you got a last name that that's hard to pronounce for some people like uh, Michael Bert. Michael Lorty I'll figure out how to pronounce your name I don't have the uh, the I don't have the accent to to nail that but I'll figure it out but yeah every driver that'll be that'll be out soon I'm sure you'll all find a way to to fill that out and we won't call you Steve Lovings anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about this uh, the next series that you know very well, uh, Joy the f3 series so uh yeah i don't know the pro series very well but i mean i watched them pull away from me i watched them pull away <laughs> from me i watched connor wagner lap me a couple times i think yeah he, he, he was uh, yeah again wagner is always uh, a top level guy so eight wins nine top fives i think he's season. winning also the the official r racing series and so he's really um one of the best in regards of the F3, so it's a no surprise. So uh, congratulations to Connor, very, very, very good season. And Ryan Bachel in the AM, and Joey, you get I think two win in that series. That that's nice. Yeah. First in the pro, it was it was kind of a weird season for Connor because I think he didn't win the first race of the season and he didn't win the last race of the season. And he won everything else in between. I got to check here. Yeah, it's David Dolan. You're Dolan. right. Ooh, race one first. of the f3 season who won that i don't remember david holland? holland yeah david holland 
David David actually won two races on track because I remember at the Red Bull ring he won at the line in a photo finish, but he had a slowdown because oh, he he track oh, extended in the final yeah. corner and he got a forty second I penalty for that. that. So yeah. that was that was pretty crazy. But yeah, Connor yeah. was incredible. Eight win season, which was once an accomplishment before Sean Campbell busted that. <laughs> he could have had nine, but he he didn't he didn't show up for the last race of the season. I don't know why. And Tyler Campbell got his win, becoming the third Campbell in PRL history to win a race. None of them related, though. <laughs> so many weird facts coming out of this season. And then the AM series wasn't as uh, wasn't as dominant. There were a lot of drivers who got a lot of wins. Ryan Pucktell, of course, got two wins. Turner Schroll, it looked like it was going to be between Turner and my, my old teammate Takeshi for the championship, but then I think Turner uh, had other commitments that he couldn't make anymore, so he wasn't able to come anymore. But my teammate Takeshi, I believe he won a couple races. I just got to open up the, the tab. Let's see. Nick uh, McLaughlin Takeshi also Kino. won, I think, one or two races. Yeah, McLaughlin won two races. I think Takeshi won two races as well. Yeah, Turner won two. Or did Turner win three? Yeah, Turner won three. Takeshi only won one. And then Puck Tell... Nick McLaughlin and Joey Tebbin won two each. So it was it was a very, very even season. But Ryan was consistent. He was yeah. always up there. He was always good at saving his tires. He was always good at not getting taken out in random accidents. And he kept it all clean all season, and he got the championship for it. And I believe he'll be in the the GT3 Sprint Series next season, I think, if he's also not in the F3 Series. Yeah, well. I think so. so he'll, be, he'll be taking on so, some other uh, action as well. Joey, we have uh, Nick on the chat saying that he spawned at Montreal just to let you win. I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's also why he. Uh, that's also why he threw it off the track at 200 miles per hour at Road Atlanta <laughs> in the wall at Turn One. But honestly, if those of you in the chat weren't there for those broadcasts, those two races that I was finally able to win, that's why I won. Nick has always had. He's always had a lot of pace. He's a fast driver. It hurt, it hurts sometimes when he's in your mirror. It's like, how the heck am I going to keep this guy behind me? But when he when he gets off your tail, that makes it a lot easier. And that's, <laughs> yeah, that's how you win races when your faster opponents get taken out. Congrats for those two wins. Uh, just before we yeah. move to the the, the draws, there, um, how does it feel when you you are broadcasting all those? Um, you're in the boot, uh, all those races, and then you get to the Thursday, and you're like, oh, I'm racing tonight. <clears throat> so. Are you like super motivated? Are you excited to get in the car when you see all those actions from the GT3s for the MX5, the NASCAR guys? I mean, you must be excited, right? Well, honestly, that's why I signed up in the first place. Like a couple seasons ago when I signed up for F3 in the first place, that was back when I was doing you know a couple PRL broadcasts every now and then, filling in. And I was like, this sounds like kind of fun. This seems like a good league to sign up for. And then you get to the grid and you're like, oh, there's... There's Michael Broomhead. I know he's quick, so if I'm around him, that probably means something for me. So it's actually like a really helpful yardstick to know how good guys are. So you can feel bad if you're really far <laughs> off them. You can feel good if you beat them. And like, and also having all those teammates that I've had with, with Atomic Racing, with James, with Takeshi, with Robert, with Colin, with all those guys, Steven, Max, everybody. Like I saw them race before. They asked me to join the team and like if I can match them, you feel pretty good. That's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So, so do we move on to Yeah, the sure. We can exactly we can we can start that. So uh so, before we go there, so yeah, Marco, you're showing the the, 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 the right page. Starting this season, uh, all the series winner and pro and am as well, you guys will receive a special poster that we're gonna uh ship to you and they already have all been contacted to get their address so it's a 2016 poster that we're gonna send to the winner just so you can decorate your your sim racing room and so just to, uh so you can show everyone i want a championship so uh that's something we're gonna start doing this season after season to provide this a little something to the series winner um, maybe we, we can go through the, the, the eligibility, eligibility criteria. So if you want to be eligible for this draw, you must be a premium member. You must have attended at least seven races out of ten. Uh, everyone is eligible except Marco and I. Yeah. We are not eligible. 
Um, so uh, anyone who is racing is a premium and at uh, and at an at least seven race. And also you can stack it if and if you, if you're racing in multiple championship, like Charles is racing in NASCAR Cup and the Monday MX5, GT3 and and track. He's doing Nothing a lot. More, so right, racing <laughs> is a very generous term for what I had for <laughs> season three. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, you can get a multiple entry if you uh, if you sign up for multiple series. Yeah. Um, so, so we're gonna be yeah. drawing ten gift card of one hundred bucks of advanced sim racing. It's stackable. all USD, by the way. And they're stackable. They're stackable. Yeah. Uh, one gamer plus from Bot Kicker. Uh, race box. Gamer. This is next, next season, season, not this season. Uh, Twenty uh, three month. Of Pro premium sides. entry of uh, of Pro Sides of Brace Lab, and we're gonna be drawing uh, four hour of coaching. So four one hour of coaching from one of our pro driver of Precision Racing Esport. It could either be road or oval. So we have coach. So uh, we're gonna be drawing four of them. So let's go to my wheel of fortune. Um, no, sorry, wheel wheel of names. Uh, so we have. Uh, all the list here, I'm going to just quickly scroll so you guys can see that this is all legit. If you want to pause the video and look at it, you are good to go. You can trust us. That's why we do this live stream every season. So are we starting with the parallel coaching, Jerome, with the yeah. four? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Drum roll. We need a drum roll. Sorry, I'm going to, I'm going to add the music this time around. I'm going to add drum rolls next time. Hey, David. David. Ever. You got uh, nice. there. some coaching. That's cool. Yeah, pretty cool. And the guys are very good, by the way. They can if, recollect if Joey, the training. Uh, one coaching. Do you have time, Joey? <laughs> I don't think so. I probably... Yeah. Oh, pause it. Steve Loving, there you are. Singular name. I mean... <laughs> It wasn't me who said Steve Lovings, so I, I'm not going to take any uh, any flack for that, but Steve Loving, singular. We love Steve Loving. We're always loving Steve Loving. Trucks and Cup, always a, always a favorite. And that 27, that Coke Zero car, I'm always biased towards it. So congrats, Steve. <laughs> congrats, Steve. Yeah, Marco, you were about to say that. Yeah, I was saying really that the guys are very good, by the way, the pro drivers. They can read telemetry. They can help you with uh, your braking, your acceleration, your the tracks. Oh, Joao Guerrera. Congratulations. Got a NASCAR guy. Now. And again, Two NASCAR, NASCAR guys now. It's that, that's... Um, you know what? I'm not calling <laughs> anybody's names. We had enough cautions. I'm happy guys are getting... Uh... <laughs> 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 like I said, not calling out those two. I'm calling out the leagues. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Brian Hoskins. Brian Hoskins. I think he's here in the chat. Is he in the chat? Really? Nice. Congratulations, Tom, really? Brian. So we got the four uh, parallel coaching sessions. Uh, yeah. Next up, we go to Race Lab. Race Lab. The 20 Do Race it. Lab, yeah. So, uh, Jerome, you're my uh, wingman here, so I need to count. Yep. I thought we had a... Oh, Sean Thank Duhamel. Sean. Congrats, Sean. And we had a message in chat from Mark about my subtlety. Anybody who has heard my race control comments, they know it's not subtle. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, we got Sean Campbell. Sean Campbell. It, he doesn't it, need any help. Hey, that's <laughs> yeah. Race Lab, though. That's the four. Yeah, down, exactly. You know, that's not the, the coaching. <laughs> that's that's true. So put it this way, it, Marco. If, if they ever do a radioactive for our races, um, there's a lot of bleeps by me. Oh, is it? <laughs> Good That's and a bad. That's a Ganyo. We got Max. Drum rolls. Kevin Santana. Kevin Santana. Santana. This is the first time he's winning. He won the, the first cockpit that we draw. That's yeah, Kevin Santana. Yeah. Yes, he did. Aussie Mill Wayne. 
So uh, Mark says, what radio? All you do is yelling. <laughs> well, he's a, he's a big reason for it. <laughs> um, considering he absolutely, my own organizer murdered me at New Hampshire. That was fun. Did he? Jeff Hollingsworth. Congrats, Jeff. That's a three month sub for Race Lab. And I know I do this every broadcast to you guys. Um, I've been a Race Lab user before they were a sponsor of the Bureau and Don Bowden. Congrats. Uh, congrats. If you guys still haven't used Race Labs, get on it. The, the UI that it presents is really, really awesome. It's really helpful too. Um, whether you're running up front and you know you're trying to get every tenth of a liter or a gallon, and Lucio Vargas, congrats. Congrats. Um, you know the fuel calculator is normally I won't say 100. percent mm -hmm. I mean I've been by it once, but normally it's very, very <laughs> spot on. Um, and honestly, too, things like the track map are great. Their relative yeah. box is really great, especially for slow guys like me. Congrats, Sean Mulholland who have to watch for the leaders coming to make sure I don't <laughs> get in the way and impede. So, uh, yeah, definitely try out race labs. If you guys haven't. They just yeah, the track good. map is really good. Yeah. Their overlays look just, just look beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Congrats Michael, Michael. Yes. And more. By the way, Jerome's going to contact every winner. So, Jackie. uh, for those who are not yeah, so watching. this weekly you'll be contacted uh, by me. So watch the forum. I'm Kelly, gonna send congrats. you a private message. Yeah, congrats, Kelly. Where's Joey in there? He's gonna win the prize. Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another, win, another champ. There's a champ. Yeah. I love when the the, the champs uh, are winning something. Next one. Eric Papineau. Eric Papineau. So Congrats if you want to Eric. practice your uh, accent, Joey, we can tonight if you want. Papineau's, Papineau's easy. Me and, me and Terry were able to, <laughs> able to figure that one out. He's a NASCAR guy, but... Yeah, it's way easier than Bertillon, right? <laughs> I don't know. Jerome's never, Jerome's never caught. I said Bertillon. I think I, I think he did a <laughs> decent perfect. job of that. Yeah, yeah. Congrats. Hey, congrats, um, Alec. Yeah, no worries. I uh, I'm pretty good at uh, screwing up some names here <laughs> with my uh, Portuguese French accent. Andre Benati. Andre Benati. Congrats. How many left, uh, Jerome? Five. Four now. Congrats, Brad. Congrats. We should we should be getting there, right, Drew? Yeah, four left. Four left. Ryan Kings. Ryan Kings. Ryan Kings. Next five. Tomorrow. Congrats, Phil. Two left. Two more? Two more, yeah. Robert, Robert Gilmore. Gilmore. <laughs> always another another guy who's always a fan favorite in the in the YouTube chat for the truck series. So. He, is he? He definitely brings a crew with him. Yeah. That's one. Last one is Kari Pricker. Congrats, Kari. So now we move now, on to the butt kicker. Exactly. The butt so kicker only gamer one boss. Exactly. Let's see who gets it. Bruce. Bruce. Bridges. Bridges. Bruce. Congrats, Bruce. Congrats for the, the kicker. And then now we go to the 10 times $100 exactly, so. at ASR. Again, yeah. those are stackable. So if you get uh, pulled more than once, you can stack those. 
and it can be it can be used um, against any product. Yeah. Not only the, the cockpit, it could be a wheel, pedals, any product. Oh, Connor Wagner. Oh, hey, Connor. Connor. Looks like the champions are winning tonight. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. Again, thanks again for Advanced Sim Racing for being with us all those seasons. Ritters, my old teammate, congrats. good for him. Congrats, congrats Steven. Steven. The captain. I think yeah, ASR folks the captain? have... Yeah, the ASR folks is going to have a new showroom soon. So, yeah, we, we're yeah. going to need to go there oh, and, go and, and showcase us. Again, wow. second win. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats, Ethan. And it goes to show, you get into multiple, pass, multiple right? leagues, you can win multiple prizes. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Kevin. Garvey. Congrats, Kevin. Congrats, Kevin. A lot, of a lot of our truck drivers getting prizes. That's and, good. And new truck drivers at that, too. Yeah. But that's the... Pays off right out of the gate. <laughs> I don't know the the wheel likes uh, the those NASCAR guys. Congrats, Austin. Austin well, like the Miata guys too. ABC. Considering both leagues throw almost thirty guys into this list, I will say <laughs> the chances are good. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, Mark Kaylee Mark is on the chat. Congrats, man. Congrats, man. We got hundred dollars at ASR. Congrats, Mark. Let's see if you can stack it. You got multiple entries, Mark. Let's see if you can reply. Is he still alive? There he is. Hey. Devin Orvat. Devin Orvat. Congrats. Congrats, Devin. Three more. We can hear boos from Jeff Evans in the chat. Austin says, uh, nice Bubba. Blake ZD. Blake ZD, congrats. congrats. And uh, the guys from Advanced Racing, Mark says thank you. If you guys are watching. Thomas Singh. Another truck guy. Congrats, yeah. Thomas Singh. And On the, the last, last one. Last yeah, one? This, that's the last one. Joey Teben. No. Charles. <laughs> Corey Breaker. 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 Hey, Corey. Wow. Oh, I feel God. like Corey, Corey races at maybe in more series than anybody else does. So it's really because he's in the F4s. He's in Cup Series. He's in the GT3s. He was in the MX5s. He was okay. in like every he was in like every single day of the week. <laughs> so that pays off. Yeah. So there you go. All your winners. Congrats, Corey. So congrats, every, everyone. That's very nice. Yeah, so, thank guys, you. Nothing will help that. Just, Honestly, uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Charles. <laughs> no, I was just making the comments to Facebook chat. So. Oh, okay. And yeah, again, uh, uh, so now that the 2022 S3 is, is behind oh, us, uh, on, big guys. thanks. Yeah, big thanks to, uh, to all the drivers who did participate in, in that season. It was an amazing season. And, and Joey, you can speak for it. You were at every every almost every of these one uh so thanks again to all the members to all our sponsor uh it's because of you that that we, we can provide that to you that we can uh, do that so very big thanks yeah thanks to race spot uh, vco who uh, uh worked An with us to get job. this deal on and uh yeah you guys have been great uh, thank you to all the NASCAR guys, the world guys, the old community that comes comes back season after season, uh, because you guys are the ones who make this 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 uh, PRL journey inc uh, like growing and getting that popularity. It's because of you guys, the racers, the drivers, uh, the world. And also man. the staff. Let, let's give a big thanks. To oh yeah, all, yeah. Our all the organizers, that, that managers. Give manager yeah, director right. that give countless of hours of their free time uh to to make that possible so big big thanks to uh, every uh every soldier that is is working with us to 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 bring that and joey for doing that big spreadsheet that was oh, uh, amazing that was uh 
Only uh, possible but, uh, because the the other three guys on my screen here they've been they've been insane and they've been cataloging all these seasons. They've been keeping the spreadsheets and they've been organizing them for all these years. So it was just it was easy yeah. for me. It was obvious for me to just take all that stuff, put it into a easy little easy little thing that we could cite in the broadcast, and I know that it's I, it's it's made me able to put together storylines in the broadcast a lot easier. And I, I yeah. it seems like it's come across on the other side too. We've got to we've got to give the, the 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 props to the right guy, uh, Tyler Tyler Gore, who has been doing those yep. spreadsheets for uh, how many years with us. So uh, he, he's our uh, formula guy. He loves he's doing those brain. spreadsheets. He, he knows how they work. <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, thanks thanks Tyler for doing this. And uh, again, like Jerome said, all the the organizers, all the managers who keep those yep. uh, stats in uh, race after race. So uh, without you guys, uh, yeah, we wouldn't be here tonight and giving you those nice prices so and thank you now, everyone. s4 is coming s4 is coming so if yeah. you haven't signed up yet there's still a few places left in a few series so just add up add on to into our farm so uh, uh we hope to to see you again next season and i'm sure that's going to be again an amazing season if uh, if yeah. last season was pretty great and i'm sure next season is going to be amazing as well I'll say season three was a great season to start off with Ray Spot and VCO. Um, yeah. And we're going to keep them on their toes in season four. I mean, we've had oh, yeah. some even bigger fields. And since Joey loves doing napkin math so much for championships on the oval side, what's it being season four, we have the points championship and the playoff championship. So yeah. it's going to be chaos. It'll be great. <laughs> can't, can't make it easy. No, God, no. Thank NASCAR for that. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the math. I'm sure it'll be worth it. And, Got to think if I can remember every single person who's been on the race spot broadcast this this uh, past season. Me, Hugo, Connery, Tyler, Arjuna. That's directors other than me. And then DJ, Ewan, Taylor, Justin, Terry, um, Lorenzo. I already said Arjuna. Yeah, you uh, said. And then I think that's... I think that's everybody, unless somebody subbed in for a week that I didn't remember. But yeah, it's been a great season. I've loved covering it. I've loved telling people the stories that you guys are are making on the track. And let's do it again in like two weeks. I want to give yeah. us also a special thanks to uh, Will from uh, Race Spot. Uh, he's always communicating with me, myself and Jerome and Hugo. He's always there yeah. for us when we need it. So thank you, Will, for your, all your support. And you go as well. Yeah. It goes phenomenal. So thank you, guys. Thank you, all the crew. And um, hey, we made it under an hour. That was our goal from the, the past <laughs> broadcasts. Because I know people <laughs> tend to say, hey, uh, <laughs> more than an hour, it's a lot. So right. uh, I want to thank you. Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson directed there. one Truck Series broadcast before his computer died. So there's there's the one guy there I forgot. You go. Your memory is there good. You go. So thank you, Jerome. Yeah. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Joey, for being with us tonight. Thank you, Joey, for, for being there. Yep. Thank you, gentlemen. And for all our viewers out there, enjoy your Week 13 madness that's uh, kicking off tonight. Actually, it should already be going. So if uh, anybody does a figure eight, I'll see you out there. And then uh, September 18th, Sunday night, kicks off Season 4. Yes, yep. sir. Yeah. Have a good Thanks, night, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Guys. See you later.